Yo, what's going on guys? And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple tool in Roblox Studio. Okay, I'm using a base plate template right now. You could do this with anything, it doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a simple like, uh, you know, just a simple like cup. You can do whatever you want. You can find models in the toolbox, whatever. Just get something that you want to have the player be able to hold. Okay, and then whenever you have the model or whatever you want to be your tool, I just have a little cup here. Um, you want to go ahead and insert a new part, and you want to name it Handle. And make sure it's capital H, because it does matter, so you just want to name it Handle like that. And then you want to position it to where you want the player to be holding your tool. So you can shrink it down. Uh, so that's easier to work with if you want to. So you just make it smaller. And then move it to where you want the player to be holding it. And then you can just make it transparent since I don't want the player to see it. Okay, and then after you do all of this, you want to go ahead, go to the workspace, click plus, and insert a tool object. Uh, you can rename this to whatever you want. It will be the name that shows up in the backpack. So I'll just name it Tube Cup. And then you want to take all of your parts that you just made or whatever you want to turn into a tool, including the handle, and put it into the tool object. And if uh, if your handle is named correctly, then it will have a touch of truss under it, just so that you know. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that everything is unanchored so everything has anchored set to false and then uh, we want to weld all of the uh, parts or like models or whatever to the handle so what we're going to do is we're just going to add a weld constraint right here and then part zero is going to be the handle and then part one will be every other part so yeah we'll just set it to this part for now and then you can just duplicate this and then set part one every time so just duplicate it set it to the next part okay and then whenever you have all of that set up you can go ahead move this into the starter pack and click play and as you can see um the handle can be set up wrong so if, it, if it's looking like this or whatever, and you want the player to not hold it like that, um, we could just go into here, uh, move this back into workspace, take the handle, and then move it back over to here. And just adjust it to wherever you want it to be, so that looks fine. And then whenever you do that, you're just going to move it back into starter pack. And boom, now you have a tool that the player can hold in Roblox Studio. All right, so that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any other, you know, questions or anything, just ask them in the comments. I'll help you out. And um, see ya.